How's it going everyone? Zabby here and I'm going to show you guys the bass fishing technique for blue crab. I'm also going to be doing a tarpon video soon, but for this setup, we're just going to go ahead and use the Loki 200, the Aspire Double Punch 4500, and we are using some half decent line here, 10.4 kilograms. So it's a, it's a pretty balanced setup, guys. Uh, you're going to need to be decently high level for this, but I mean, if you're at blue crab, you're probably high level or you got a DLC rod, uh, which means maybe you're probably more geared towards a tarpon video. But uh, yeah, this is the setup here. Let me just go into um, the spinning rods here just to show you guys where you unlock this one. This one's at level 30. It's a 10.5 kilogram rod. And then, yeah, the Aspire Double Punch 4500. You just want to take a quick look at that. Should be a little bit further down here. Uh, there it is. Unlocks at level 32. And then there's the line, the 10.4 kilogram braid. It just lines up with the rest of the setup here. Now, for lures, a lot of people use the buzz baits, which are definitely a thing you can do. The uh, the 5.0 buzz baits, you can throw one of those on and put um, put a grub on if you want. Uh, however, I've been having really, really good luck, and I actually got this from someone on my stream with the Major Popper um, 5.0 here, which unlocks uh, pretty late, but this has been absolutely killing the bass for me, guys. Uh, you can definitely use that. You can also use a casting spoon if you'd like. I got this X-Series one here. But for, for most of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use the 5.0 Major Popper. Uh, it's, it seems to get pretty good with the uniques here. And for this for this exact method, guys, you are going to need a boat. Uh, you won't be able to do this from the dock. For the Tarpon one, there is a dock section to it. So if you're just here with a, a certain DLC or whatever, you can fish from the dock. But for this bass video, you are going to need a boat. And it's going to be a little bit of moving around, guys. But it's it's definitely a cool way to, to fish. It's a lot of fun. And there's tons of different bass and blue crabs. So it, it's just awesome. So go ahead, grab a license like usual. And we will head to Mississippi here. And I'll show you guys what to do. All right, so you're just going to go into the spawn point here, which is the one with the boat. Now we are going to go into a private room for a minute here just... Just to make it a little bit simpler so there's no uh, no distractions around. But all you're going to do here is get into the boat. Uh, let's take a look at peak time. So peak time is 1,700 hours. Let's just go there right now. Go straight to peak and hop in the boat. Now all we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go right here through this uh, passage here. And basically what I do, guys, is... I just kind of go around here. You can see my markers. I have um, all the deep holes marked. I haven't even done all of them yet. Like I've still haven't been through this passageway here. But any of these deep holes, you can basically catch unique bass at. Um, I tend to go for the the bigger ones and skip some of the smaller ones if there's like a half decent size one there. But you can in all these little deep holes here, guys. You can catch bass. So all we're gonna do is just go up through here and go to the first setup here i'll show you guys which way to take if you want to follow this exact setup you can obviously you want to go exploring feel free it, it really doesn't matter but let's just get the boat going here we're going to turn around and we're going to go right through there all right i'll slow it down a little bit just in case you guys have never done this before uh, hopefully it's not too loud over me. It's just, it is pretty loud, but we're gonna make a right-hand turn here. Pretty bad one. So we're going a little bit too fast, and we're gonna hit the wall too. I didn't bring my boating license. I'm sorry. I uh, just stay towards the middle because you do get beached here. I get beached here all the time. Uh, you just want to go to the right again, and then just go straight. We're just gonna slow down a little bit here. Uh, now, the reason why I put markers here, guys, is then I kind of know where to stop my boat. So this is the first one here. We'll just go up on here and I'll fish here for a little bit. And this is basically all I do. Um, the technique basically is whenever you catch a unique, just stop fishing here. Uh, we're actually gonna go a little bit further. Just so we can cast um, into that little little corner a little bit better. There we go, we should be, we should be good from here. This is one of the spots, guys, and you can pretty much just catch fish here all day whenever you want. We're going to go ahead. We're going to do a one a one speed method here and just cast right into the uh, 
corner there. And hopefully we get a fish. I'll keep fishing here for a little bit, guys, and I'll show you guys some of the catches I get from this spot. All right, so there's a trophy speckled uh, peacock bass, guys. Now, you're going to want to go for the unique uh, speckled peacock basses. They're really, really good. They get, uh, they get pretty large here. Uh, we're just going to keep farming here. Now, one other thing. I've, I think I said it before, but just in case I didn't. If you guys roll up to a spot, you pull out a unique, just move on to the next spot, okay? They're, like, there's honestly no point in wasting your time. It, it just the second you get a, a unique just go to the next spot there's so many spots here guys there's no need to like really sit in one for too long uh, another tip i i reset the popping motion after a fish goes after and and uh, misses a bite there uh you don't have to i've had luck either way just leaving it without the popping motion or resetting it it's really up to you guys but basically all i do guys is i go from spot to spot here and this is honestly some of the most fun fishing if you guys enjoyed the bass fishing in the everglades and you have a boat and you're able to do this this is like that but just on crack it's just absolutely crazy um the amount of fish you bring in here the amount of uniques you can bring in, in here in a day and you can really use whatever type of lure you want i use the major popper just because it's a little bit easier you just set it out there you don't have to manage the twitch or anything you just cast it out there you do the two pops and then you just reel it in it's nice and easy and you get fish on all the time now you're not always going to catch big fish here but with this setup you're going to get a good amount of xp for the uh for the trophies and the uniques and that's really all that matters uh, i'll see if i can bring in another trophy or unique here i'll give it a few more casts and if i can't bring anything in then we'll just go on to the next spot all right so i didn't catch a unique there but that is the spot right there guys now what i normally do is i head just straight you can go wherever you guys want but i'm going to head to this one just down on this bend here as you can see i kind of just have a marker set at where it starts to get deep and i just cast up over the the little hole there so let's just go ahead start the boat and we'll head down there i'll show you guys where it is just in case you don't know i guess we should unleash um, or get rid of the anchor eh, and put it up but all right let's go down here All right, so we're here, guys. This is the spot that we were just looking at uh, on the map. I really like this one because you can just cast out nice and far and just do it right over the, the nice hole there. And that's all you got to do, guys. Is basically, you're just going from hole to hole, and you're just fishing like you would in, in real life. You know, you fish for a little bit at one spot. You move to the next. You're in a boat, so it's relatively quick. Uh, obviously, you're going to need a boat for this uh, this exact thing, but... I don't know if you got a boat you probably hear like if you have a boat you're probably you're probably here or if you got one you... i don't know what the fuck i'm saying either way we got a fish on here i really do enjoy this spot i've caught uniques here it just kind of depends on your luck for the day right but if you guys are looking for some fun bass fishing this really is a great spot to do it just going oh there we go there's a unique so we caught one um 566 xp not not amazing xp by any means but it's a pretty small one um the speckled get way bigger than that but since we caught a unique we're just gonna go ahead here and we're gonna move on to the next spot right away because that's probably the the good the best tip i can give you guys so we're just gonna go up here and just continue along our little our little journey here and I'll show you guys where it is. Just I want to give you guys a good uh, idea of where to go in here if you've never been here before. But we're just going to go ahead and move on up. we're gonna stop right there right by our marker again and again guys as you fish this more and you have the markers down you don't even have to look at the map really once you start getting used to it 
Uh, that's why I have the markers there. So you just stop at each marker. You fish from there. You fish for a little bit. You catch something. You you can leave. If you don't catch anything, you can leave. It just makes it a little bit easier. Just so you don't have to constantly look at your map. But it is nice to be able to set those markers there. So I definitely recommend doing that. We're going to go ahead and fish here for a little bit. And hopefully we catch something good. All right. It looks like we have a half, half decent fish on right now. Which is nice to see. Uh, might just be a trophy, but either way, it's nice to grab something half decent right out of the gate. It's only about two or three casts in here. Um, if it is a uni, which I don't think it is, we will go ahead and move on. Oh, it's actually a gar. Nice. These long nose gar are pretty cool. You guys haven't caught one of these before. They're pretty cool looking. You can catch uniques here too. Let's see. There it is. There's a unique long nose gar. It's my personal record. There you go. 569 XP, 1500 bucks. And they're, uh, they're really, really cool looking fish, guys. Here, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Um, pretty much all you're going to catch is bass, gar, and then you will get the odd the odd uh, trophy blowfin and stuff like that. But it's not really too common. But since that's a unique, even if it's not a bass, we're just going to go ahead and move up to the next spot here. Let's just get back in the driver's seat here. And let's go. Just up a little bit. There we go. We're right on top of this marker. And if we take a quick look at our map, we'll see that basically straight in front of us, it's all deep. So we'll just cast straight out in front of us. Just the direction we're looking and we're going to go right over top of the deep hole. And we're going to fish here for a little bit, guys. All right. Looks like we got a pretty solid fish on, boys. That's a really good sign. We got our drag like all the way up, basically. It's almost maxing out, but not quite. It's definitely a good fish if it's fighting like this. Hopefully it's a unique speckled, but you guys can just see the pace we're going. I started at, what, I started at 1,700 hours. It's now, it's almost an hour later. We're at 25 kilograms of bass already. Uh, we caught in a few different species of bass, a few different uniques, a uh, unique gar. And it looks like we got a, either a big trophy or a uni on right here, but this is going to be a solid fish. Looks like it's a bass. It definitely is a bass. Let's see what we got. So there we go. It is a big trophy. It's not a unique, but as you guys can see, 816 XP for that fish. 1200 bucks. That's not even a unique. That's not even a unique. And since it's only a trophy, I'm going to keep fishing here. Maybe we'll get lucky and grab another, another trophy or another unique. But the one tip I just want to give you guys is when it is a unique, uh, just, just leave, guys. There's no point in sticking around in the same hole. There's so many great spots to fish in this... Uh, in this mess back here, it's just, it's absolutely unbelievable how much fun it is just going from spot to spot. There you go, guys. Here's a unique speckled peacock bass. 8.878 kilograms, so over 16 pounds, 16, 17 pounds, 2,800 XP, and almost $3,000. I'll show you guys the spot I, ca I caught this guy at. Just let me go into my map here. So you can see here, it's at this very top corner. Uh, I have a marker there already. It's this one right here. It, this spot, I've caught a few in. All right, guys, I've traveled my way up through here a little bit. You could keep going, but I think I've kind of proven the point that if you want to use uh, this here, it's going to work well. You can just go through to all these deep spots. I'm definitely going to explore more, check out every little hole in here. Um, I know you can catch bass over here too, but I just wanted to show you guys this part just because it's a little bit different and it's something a little bit different than just standing still and uh, fishing in the same spot over and over you get to move around it's something a little bit different a little bit more fun uh, the buzz baits will work casting spoons will work i like the popper that's just my personal preference but i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll catch you guys in the next one when we go after some unique tarp but thanks for watching everyone i'll see you later hey everyone thanks for watching make sure to check out the description the links to my social media platforms and discord where you can come hang out make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video and also comment down below and i'll try to respond as best as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one